Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. So this is about 10:30. So right now I want to inject the fish. But in action procedure, before you inject, it is important that you weigh your fish. So when you weigh the fish, you will know the kg. So by the kg, we are using overprim. The principle is that for every one kg, you inject 0.5 milligram of the overprim. But if you are using ovulin, you'll be using the half of the kg. Of the fish is what is going to be the milligram you've injected. For example, let's say your fish weigh uh, 3 kg, the half is 1.5, so that means you'll be injecting the uh, ovulin of 1.5 milligram. But if it is over point, I will use a par, every kg is 0.5 um, milligram that you've injected. So, first, I need to weigh the fish so I will know. So, these are scale you can see. So, right now, and this is the empty bucket. You can use it to wait. So I have to set it to make sure it's on zero. If you can see it now, you see that everything's on zero. So now these are catfish. You can come and see the catfish. This is a female blue stock. How will you know? So don't worry. Okay. So you can see it. You can see that this is a female, different from the male. That is to have a uh, something like a penis. The where the meat comes out. Oh, this is a tummy. You can see the hole, you can see the so you can see the tummy, you can see it's reddish already. So I'm going to wait now. Alright, so let's check it out. So on this scale now, the fish is weighing four points. 4.4 or less than 4.3 4.4 so 4.3 so now since i know it is 4.3 so for every one kg i'll be putting 0 0.5 milligram so now that means 0 0.5 1 1.5 2 so that will be 2 points i put 2.5 milligram so of uh, 2.5 uh, um, 2.5 ml milligram of the overprint. So that is just it. All right. So just follow me as we go through the process of the injection. Okay. All right. So now that we weigh that, we know it weighs 4.3. Now note, you must not under inject. However, you can over inject, not too much. For example, now we have 4.4, 4 4.3. So it will be wrong for me to now inject uh, ordinary 2 mil. Because for two, uh, for every 1 kg of overprint, you have to inject 0 0.5 milligram of overprint. So since it's 4, that means I'll be injecting 2 milligram. So now, for the injection, you see I have my injection here. So for the mil, you can see it is measured 0 0.5. 1.0 1.52 mil so that means i'll be injecting here this whole injection now half so that it can be balanced and now this is overprint you can see overprint overprint uh, the after you this i'm to inject this and put it in the female for 24 uh, for 12 hours for 12 hours so that's why i'm injecting it tonight so that by tomorrow morning around this time i can now prawn the fish and then mix kill the meal take out the meat and then mix it so this is uh the overprint that we use so it's not the overprint alone you can use over ovulin you some use uh, overtime but i use either ovulin or overprint so just follow me i go through the process so you can see that's to be a new injection and once you use it please throw it away don't say you want to use it for two or three it might cause an infection so you can see so you see you see the way i put it so instruct it how you take it and then when you want to inject you put it inside so, um, so i'll take my so you see
Because I'm taking two meal. So I'm taking my time. If you look at it, it's not yet up to two meal. So, took it back. Now you to two now. All right, <clears throat> it is exactly two mil. You can see two mil because our fish weigh four point three. So I can say for every kg you put zero point five, so that means zero point five, one kg, one, um, one point zero, one point five, two point zero. So now to inject. You be injecting this part, this edge. So, come down. So now, okay. Alright, so now that we've inject, now you'll be needing your rope. You can see I just cut out of it now, which I'll be using. And then we need a jerry can. The jerry can you put water, you can see so they have water inside. Because after some hour now, it will by the time the, the injection has worked and the hormone is well triggered, the fish will be fighting and trying to you know struggle. So if it's not in this kind of jerry can, if you put it in any of this bath, it's going to get out of it. Beautiful. But inside this jelly can, you are assured of no issue that is going to be there. So after that, I will use this rope to tie it up. So just follow me. So take it gently, baby. Alright, so you can see it. How is enjoying can see so now what I'll do is I'll tie it up you have to tie it well So you have this side, you have this side. So, and then you can now put a bit of palm oil. Course. So because of oxygen, I don't want it to foam up. So I will have to put a drop. Listen, a drop of palm oil. So you see, all I need is just a drop. So for oxygen reduction. So you put it there. All right. So. That will help in circulation of the oxygen. So now I've done that. You can see it. So you take it to your ashing room or the location where it will be. So I'll be taking it to my ashing room.
okay so we'll be here to turn up so you can see that the water is already made ready for it you can see and what we'll be using so to tomorrow when we shall continue i'll show you the other processes that need to be known by tomorrow morning after 12 hours when the fish has stayed for 12 good hours immediately after 12 hours we will prune the fish kill the meal take the meat mix it you will follow the process and enjoy until the next video stay blessed stay with us